I'm going to talk about um, case study with biological indicators in progress in the Brazilian Amazon, more specifically in the Porto Velho city. The scientific literature has a long demonstrated an association in the levels of air pollution with an increase in the morbidity and mortality from respiratory disease. Some authors suggest that people, mainly asthmatics, can present system effects as in inflammations and allergies and decreased lung function. Even that the biomass burning has been decreasing in the Amazon in the last years, the quality of air and its effects in human health is a concern, especially during the dry seasons when fires are more prevalent. In the Brazilian Amazon, many studies show that biomass burning has emerged as an important determinant for hospitalizations for respiratory disease in children and the elderly. And the smoke by burnings has uh, the PM, the, the PM, the particulate matter, uh, as the major compound. Rondônia is part of the arc of deforestation and has the third highest amount of fires in the Brazilian Amazon and last year had four times the amount of fires during the dry season and many cities look at like this covered by smoke. In these days um, the monitoring station in Porto Velho presented PM 2.5 concentrations reaching up 300 micrograms daily and the WHO limits for human safety it's no more 25 micrograms daily and the limits for Brazilian legislation is no more than 50 micrograms daily. So thinking about this the objective of my study is basically to analyze the association in the, of the biomarkers for respiratory disease with the acute exposure to PM2.5 from biomass burning. This is an epidemiological study and the population of the study are children with 6 to 16 years old, uh, resident in riparian communities um, of Porto Velho. In data source we have surveys to evaluate the apps of the children and their families living conditions um, exposure history and um, health conditions also. We use it also the um, spirometry to measure the, the lung capacity of the children and we um, use it the Immunoglobulin E as marker uh, for allergy and the C reactive protein as marker of inflammation. They are biomarkers for air pollution provided the urban centers. 
S but we don't have biomarkers specifics for biomass burning. So we will try this. We use the meteorological station of Porto Velho to measure the exposure. And for this study is basically the PM, the particulate matter, and we use the climate data to define the, um, the scenarios of the um, dry and rainy seasons. The purpose is to compare the rainy season uh, when don't have burnings and the dry season when the burnings occur. As I say, this, this work is in progress, so we don't have results, but we hope to provide insight about the relation between exposure and effects from biomass burning, especially thinking about the um, epidemiological surveillance in this area. So that's it, and thank you.